A consumer alert. Let tainted Halloween costumes. The feds confiscate a huge shipment of children's costumes from China because of high lead levels. So 7 News reporter Jacqueline Allen went into stores to test whether your child's costume is lead tainted. Jacqueline? And more trick than treat, our expert found all of these Halloween props had at least some small level of lead in them. So tonight we went shopping with him to find out just how concerned parents should be. Before this family bought their toddler's Halloween costume, lead contamination wasn't on their radar. I didn't even think about it, honestly. But this week, the feds confiscated 1,400 pirate costumes, such as this one, shipped from China. It takes very little lead, lead uh, to get into a child's system to cause permanent damage. Speaking via webcam, Ruth Ann Norton with the Coalition to End Childhood Lead Poisoning says the feds don't catch everything. Parents still have to be vigilant. So we go inside a Denver Halloween superstore with certified lead inspector Mike McCarty using this gadget to detect any lead. We quickly find some props like this Fountain of Youth goblet show low levels. Is there lead? Yeah, there's lead there. Um, is it enough to, to be overly concerned with? If it was my kid, I wouldn't be playing with it. That was nothing though compared to the levels he found on this mask. 198 parts oh per million. Gosh. It's almost double the allowable limit. Fortunately, most of the costumes we tested came up negative. Sweet. Including, much to this family's relief, one little race car driver. Sounds like we're in the clear? Yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> And there is debate about whether those do-it-yourself lead tests you can find at hardware stores are effective. If you do buy uh, costumes made in China, try to avoid appliques or glazes. Experts tell me that's where some of the issues are. They also say to be safe, you should look for costumes made in the United States or make them yourself. Reporting live, Jacqueline Allen, 7 News.